first key we're going to look at is uh, stopping the three-point field goal. Our keys to the game is presented by Kendall Ford. Uh, for Montana State, this Quinnipiac team is just out absolutely outstanding from beyond the arc. Nine threes a game, 38% from downtown. I mean, that's just ridiculous. And that, that's not even as good as they had been a couple of years ago. In 2018, they averaged something like 10 threes a game. The year after, they averaged almost 12 threes a game. So some really, really tough matchups out there uh, around the perimeter. And then, of course, they still have some size. Ike uh, Nuecki is 6'7", he's from Maryland, transferred over from Columbia, and Paul Otieno is 6'8", he's a junior from Kenya who transferred over from a junior college, had his first career double-double yesterday after transferring over, so some uh, big time difficult matchups for Montana State, and we will see what we get today for the Cats as uh, they look for their first win in this uh, tournament and trying to spoil the best start in over 50 years by this uh, Quinnipiac squad. First time they are 6-0 since the 1969-1970 uh, season. So a long time since they've gotten off to a start quite like this. All right, let's take a look at our starting lineups. Quinnipiac is designated as the home team, Montana State as the road team, and uh, for Montana State, their starting lineups look like this. In the backcourt today, Darius Brown the second will get the start at the point guard position, along with uh, Raekwon Battle and Tyler Patterson. Patterson had a pair of threes in the ball game yesterday. Raekwon Battle put up another 14, but he did not hit a field goal after the seven minute mark of the first half. And then uh, for uh, Montana State, rounding it out in the front court, it's Jabriel Bello and Sam Lekalot. On the other side for Quinnipiac, their starting lineup in the backcourt. Taimu Shinnery, the junior from uh, Philadelphia, along with Matt Belonk, the redshirt senior, the top returning scorer. He was their leading scorer last year. Number 11, Desi Jones, who averages eight and a half a game, 35% from the uh, three-point line, and then the two big, big men in the front. Ike Nuecki, six foot seven, and Paul Otiano, six foot eight. All right, before we get to our tip out, let's pause 10 seconds for our network station identification. This is Bobcat Basketball. Hello everybody, my name is Keaton Gologli. John O'Connor is back in the studios and we are ready for Bobcat basketball. Montana State and Quinnipiac ready to go. We are just uh, minutes away from our prime lending tip off. Prime lending, home loans made simple. For Montana State as the designated road team, they are in the navy blue uniforms uh, today with the gold numbers and lettering on the front and back of the jerseys. For Quinnipiac, they are designated the home team, so they are in the white uniform at tops today. They have uh, their names written in navy blue, outlined in gold, but it looks a little more yellowish on the back, along with the numbers in the same fashion. And down the side of the white shorts, it is striped in uh, navy blue, gold, and uh, royal blue. We're ready to go. Otieno and Bello at center court, and we are ready for basketball. The ball is tipped in the air, and the Cats win the prime lending tip-off, and we are underway from Place Bell Arena in Laval, Quebec. Cats have the per first possession of the day. Jabril Bello with a touch on the left elbow, hands off to battle off the screen, pulls up the free throw line, jumper a bit strong off the heel of the iron, and Quinnipiac has the rebound. It's an excellent shot. We're going to see Raekwon take that shot all day. Just a little too much juice on that one and the Cats miss their first shot of the day. Quinnipiac with the basketball. They work offensively to our right. Got it up at the top, moving right. Balonk inside, floats it up off the glass and in. Tough finish by Matt Balonk. His first two points of the day, averaging almost 14 a game. Montana State with the ball, down two to nothing. Tossed up to the top, wide open, Lekalot misses the three off the front iron, fight for the rebound, Bellow wins it, turns, hooks it up, that's no good from the middle of the paint. And Quinnipiac has the rebound. Boy, that was a good look 
for Jabriel Bello. Cats have missed a couple of good looks, really three good looks to start the day. Montana State down two to nothing. 19 minutes to play in the first half. Jones has the dribble against Brown. Nowhere to go. Throws into the right corner. On the drive. Shinnery cannot get it to go. Tyler Patterson was there with the defense. Cats have the rebound, and they're moving from right to left. Brown out to the left wing. Back and down to the mid post. He works inside of the baseline. Gets cut off and kicks it out. Lekalot has the dribble. Picks it up at the top of the key and goes to Patterson on the right wing. Back to Lekalot. The Cats have the ball with 15 seconds to shoot. Brown moving to his right. Throws up the top for Bello. Takes the shot. That's a little bit short, rims off. Tried that shot from the top of the key just inside the arc. Couldn't get it to go, and Quinnipiac has the rebound. Montana State down, two to nothing. 18 minutes to go in the first half. Left wing three is good. Desi Jones putting it home, 35% from downtown. That's what this Quinnipiac team does. And it's a 5-0 lead for Quinnipiac over Montana State. Catch with the ball. Raekwon Battle off the screen, gets into the lane, hands it off underneath. Jabril Bello lays it up and in. Nice find by Raekwon Battle. There was a collision inside. Quinnipiac wanted to charge. They didn't get the call. And Battle has the assist to Jabril Bello. Bounce pass into the post. Otiano floats it home. Boy, nice pass inside with a little bounce pass into the lane. Now the Cats run the other way. Here's Battle to the left block. Whistle and an offensive foul. Just a light little elbow. Feels like maybe one of those little makeup calls. First foul on Raekwon Battle. Montana State trailing 7-2, 17-35 to go in the first half. Just settling into this one, game two of the Northern Classic for the Cats. Ball wrapped around over the left wing for Desi Jones. Bounce pass into the mid post, left side, left of the lane. Back and down, spins in the middle of the lane, tries the jump shot, rimming, no. Jabril Bello with a hard fought rebound. Mike Nuecki unable to get it to go. Cats the other way, here's Battle, driving to the cup, gets inside, lays it up, off the glass and in with a left hand. Nice finish by Raekwon Battle, through two defenders. First two points for Raekwon. 17 minutes to go in the first half. Cats down seven to four. Quinnipiac with a basketball to our right. Jones hands it off on the left wing to Shinnery. He works his way to the left, still beyond the arc. Throws to uh, to, uh, Otieno at the free throw line. Has to kick it back out. Belong working on the right wing against Battle. Gets inside, floats it up. That is short. Fight for the rebound. Tipped in. Out of bounds. Cats basketball. Good effort again by Montana State inside. Jabril Bello showing some good work on the defensive end of the early going in this ball game. Quinnipiac up 7-4, Montana State basketball. 16 minutes to go, 16 and a half minutes to go in the first half. Darius Brown between the lake dribble to get across the half court line against Desi Jones. Over to Patterson on the right wing. Back up top to Brown who sets up the Cats offense. Overhead pass to Lecklot, back to Brown. Holding, hip high, 10 to shoot. Comes right around the screen beyond the arc. He works his way down into the lane, draws a double team, kicks it out, Patterson, catch and shoot three. No good, great look, didn't fall, and the rebound collected by Quinnipiac. They push the other way, Shinnery kicks into the right corner, wide open, three ball, no, rebound to Quinnipiac out near the free throw line, and they will reset. Jones has it at the top, works his way to the elbow, stops, nowhere to go, guarded by Brown, bounce pass up to the top for Shinnery. With the drive, seven to shoot, works underneath, hands off inside, that pass is tipped, recovered. Here's a right corner three, swirls out, no good from Otieno and Lechelot has the rebound for Montana State. Cats have the basketball, 15-40 to go, first half. Montana State up, seven to four. Good effort, good energy again for Montana State. Patterson bounces into the post, Bellow draws a double in the middle of the lane, turns, righty hook, that is short, slight block, and Quinnipiac has the basketball. They go from left to right, and now we've got a whistle as the shot clock did not reset, it was still sitting at eight seconds. So they will have to uh, reset that, and we will take our first break of the ball game. 15-24 to go in the first half. Montana State trailing 7-4 against Quinnipiac. This is Bobcat Basketball.
back to the first Interstate Bank broadcast position, Montana State trailing Quinnipiac 7-4 with 15-24 to go in the first half. Slow shooting start on both sides. Montana State two of eight from the field. Quinnipiac three of eight. Cats have taken some good shots that just didn't quite fall. So if you're Montana State, just kind of stick with it and it'll get going. Otieno takes the inbounds pass. Hands off over on the right wing for Courtright. He's on the drive and gets swatted. Jabriel Bello shoots it into the second row with a big swat. Jabriel Bello led the big sky in blocks last year. Boy, the combination of Bello and Asibor, who has not seen the floor yet today, can be pretty deadly defensively on the interior for the Cats. Quinnipiac with the basketball to our right. They lead 7-4. Bounce pass to the mid post right side. Back and down on Fuller. Spins left shoulder. Righty hook shot is good. Wecky with his first two points. Used a little bit of an elbow to get some space against Caleb Fuller, but... That's the way it goes. Montana State into the front court down 9-4 early. Brown, bounce pass to the top. Fuller puts it into the post with a bounce pass. Here's Bello, hooks it up and in through contact. Jabril Bello doing some heavy lifting again. He's moving better and better with seemingly every game. He's got four points early in the game. Montana State down 9-6, 14-38 to go in the first half. Here's a right baseline jumper. That's no good. Long rebound. Brown wins the 50-50 ball. He's into the front court. Bounce pass to the right wing. Raekwon battle. Rhythm three. No good, rebound tip free, and Quinnipiac wins it. Quinnipiac from left to right, they lead 9-6, 14-20 to play in the first half. They take it into the left corner. Savion Lewis, bounce pass into the middle of the lane, that got tipped, recovered by Quinnipiac. Otieto goes up, banks it off the glass, that's no good, and Jabril Bello has the rebound after quality defense again from Caleb Fuller. Cats into the front court, down three. Brown to Fuller, left wing threes in the air, off the heel of the iron, no good. Battle wins the rebound. He's in the lane. Floats it, no. Got hit on the forearm, no call. And Quinnipiac has the rebound. Again, another good look and a missed shot for Montana State. On the drive from the left wing. Now bounce back up to the top. Hand off to Baylock from the left wing. The three, that's no good. Rebound won by Brown. Foul on the floor. Charge to Quinnipiac going after the rebound. That foul charge to Nuecki. Sitting at our first Interstate Bank broadcast position. Remember, all assists are presented by Aware Mental Health Services. Cats have two assists on three field goals. Overall, they are three of 12 from the field, 0 of 4 from the three point line. Quinnipiac, 4 of 13 from the field. 13 37 to play in the first half. Montana State down 9 to 6. Again, they've had some good looks on the offensive end, and they're just a little off. Robert Ford running the offense here, along with great Osibor, Fuller, Battle, and McMahon on the floor. Fuller backing down on the left block, steps through with a lefty hook. That's no good, but drew the foul. Tyrese Williams picks up his first foul. And a nice job to get himself to the line. Caleb Fuller will go to the stripe. Two games removed from his first career double-double. A little surprising to think that he didn't have a single double-double in his time at UC Davis over his four years there. Has a chance to reach 1,000 career points. His free throw is good. His first point today, drawing him slightly closer. Came in this season with 719 points at the beginning of the year. He now has about uh, just over 30 this season. Lining up the next free throw, this shot is up and good. So he hits them both, nice to see after struggles from the stripe by the Cats yesterday. And Montana State back to within one, down 9-8, 13 minutes, 16 seconds to go in the first half. But a Piak has the basketball to our right. On the drive from the left wing, gets underneath, kicks out, we got a whistle and a blocking foul. Asabor used a light little hip check against Courtright, and Asabor tagged for his first foul. Bridger Brewing is home to award-winning, locally crafted beer and pizza. Bridger Brewing, cheers to every adventure being better than the last. Inbounds pass for Quinnipiac. Riggins has it out of the right wing. He hands it off to Lewis. Drives down to the left block, stops, turns. Bounce pass within the post, down to the right block. Riggins now with a lefty hook. That shot is up and good. Tough finish by J.J. Riggins. 13 minutes to play in the first half, Montana State. Down 11-8. Asabor out of the left wing. Left wide open. He's not going to take the shot. 
Give it to Ford up at the top of the key. Around to Patrick McMahon. Bounce pass into the left post. Osborne back to a cutting. McMahon goes up and draws the foul. Beautiful find by great Osborne. That was on Savion Lewis. And Patrick McMahon will get himself to the line. That was, again, just a beautiful, beautiful find by great Osborne, who had his back to the basket over on the left block. And as McMahon cut in from the left wing, was able to bounce it right to him perfectly. McMahon's first free throw is no good. Montana State, 75% from the free throw line overall this year, but yesterday that was their Achilles heel shooting just 64% from the stripe. 11-8, Quinnipiac in front, 12-34 to go in the first half. Next free throw from McMahon is up. That's no good, he missed them both. Shuffles back, shaking his head. Some frustration at the free throw line again for Montana State early. Quinnipiac with the basketball. They work offensively on the left wing. Court right working on McMahon, gets into the lane, has nowhere to go, pivots, puts up a contested floater. That is no good, tipped out of bounds, going to the Bobcats. Montana State basketball. Good defense, nice job by McMahon to bounce back after giving up uh, the, the two free throws, able to come back on the defensive end. Nick Gazalis into the ball game for Montana State now, along with Asabor, Ford, Fuller and McMahon. Osibor gives to Ford up at the top, run the point, throws around to the left wing for McMahon. Over it pass to Gazelle, steps into a right wing three. That is short, rebound tipped out, loose in the, uh, in the middle of the lane and picked up by Quinnipiac. Desi Jones bounce pass ahead, down to Riggins on the right block, working on Osibor. Back and down with the lefty dribble, turns, lefty hook, that shot is up and good. Riggins with four points. Osibor went down after taking the contact to the chest. No call. Cats with it. Osibor into the lane. Bobbled, had it tipped, recovers, gets rid of it. Cats have it out beyond the arc. Give it to McMahon on the left wing. Turns into the lane. Kicks to the right corner. Fuller working down the baseline. Takes a little contact. Turns, jumps. That jumper is up. No good in and out. Man, that was halfway down. Montana State 3 of 14 to start the day. Here's Jones, right wing three. That's good. Desi Jones responds with his second three of the day. 16 to eight, Quinnipiac in front by eight, their largest lead of the day with 11 minutes to go in the first half. Montana State slipping down and behind a little bit here, missing some good looks on the offensive end. Toss over to the right corner. Gazalis fires into the post. McMahon takes a high arcing shot. That's no good. Fight for the rebound. Lose. It is saved. Ooh, right on the baseline. And Quinnipiac has it. They move from left to right. Slowing it down out of the left wing. Desi Jones has the dribble beyond the arc. Slings it around to court right on the right wing. Down to Higgins. Way out high in the post. Turns. Tries a 17-footer. That's short with the lefty jump shot. And Montana State has the rebound. Robert Ford into the front court. He's got it up near the top of the key. Dribbles to his right. Bounce pass into the post. Osibor turns and bangs it off the glass and in. Great Osibor, his first two points, coming off a very nice performance last time out. He went 13 points on four of five from the field. The loss to UNC Greensboro yesterday. Quick trigger, left wing three. That is short, and Fuller has an awkward rebound. Kind of caromed hard off the, re off the rim, but able to pull it in. Montana State basketball. Here's Ford for three. That's no good. Offensive rebound by Quinnipiac. Montana State, four of 17 from the field to start the day. Court right into the lane, draws a hand check on Patrick McMahon, and that will take us to a timeout. Take a break from the first Interstate Bank broadcast position. 9.53 to go in the first half. Montana State trails Quinnipiac 16-10 with, again, 9.53 to go in the first. This is Bobcat Basketball from Learfield.
the First Interstate Bank broadcast position. I'm Keaton Gologly, happy to be with you today. 9.53 to go in the first half. Montana State down just six, trailing 16 to 10. That's a, a good sign because they have missed a ton of shots early in this ball game, shooting just 24% from the field, 0 of 6 from three, but just got to keep it close while you weather this drought and eventually those shots will fall. They really, they've been rhythm shots. They've been what they've wanted, just haven't fallen. Quinnipiac with a basketball, lob up to the post, swatted away by Raekwon Battle out of bounds. Boy, Battle got a piece of it. They were trying an alley-oop to the right side of the rim, and Battle got a good hand on it. I thought that went off Otieno's hand after, but no such luck, and Quinnipiac will inbound here. Lob out toward the right elbow, kicked into the right corner. Desi Jones with a bounce. He has it out on the right wing with 10 to shoot. Bounce into the lane. Otieno flips it up and in. Tough tough find underneath in traffic and they're able to get that finish by Otieno. Montana State down by eight, 9.28 to go in the first half. When will this offense get on a roll? Fuller out of the right wing. Gift it off to Ford at the top run of the point. Now to Gazelis on the right wing. He's got the ball and gives a chest pass to Raekwon Battle. Looking for Bello, doesn't have it. Over to Fuller, right wing. Only six to shoot. Up to Ford at the top, five. Ford's got the dribble, three. Into the lane, two. Going to the rack. Hesitation of the air. Floats up, no. Bellow the board and the putback. Jabril Bellow going to work underneath. He gets the offensive rebound and pours in his sixth point of the day. Bellow's got half of them for the catch. And now, uh, a little contact up high. And a foul. Uh, Montana State. Raekwon Battle picking that one up. So two fouls on Battle. That's tough for a team struggling on the offensive end. Again, still within six years, so it could be a lot worse. 18 to 12, Quinnipiac in front, 8.51 to go. And the first half from the top of the key. Court right steps back for a long two. That's off the back of the iron, no good. Volleyed out near the half court line and picked up on a hop by Quinnipiac. Here's Court right to the free throw line, draws a double team on the right block and has to weave out of it. Now gets into a post position on the right block, working against Gazelas. Turns, fall away Jay, badly missed off the front iron, but another offensive rebound. Up to the top, Shinnery for three, that's short, and another offensive rebound for Quinnipiac. Oh, Quinnipiac is gonna reset here and Danny Sprinkle is fuming. Now kick out to the right corner. Out to the right wing, Shinnery. Out to Otieno at the top. Six to shoot, given to Courtright on the drive, floats it up, got it to go off the glass. Tough finish by Louis Courtright. That's what happens when you give four chances on that end. Bello working down to the post, kicks out to Gazelis. He tries a right wing three. Airballed it. Bello saves with a jump across the baseline, but caught by Quinnipiac, and they're going the other way. Montana State down 20 to 12. 7.45 to play in the first half. Court right up to the top. Bounce pass inside. That pass is tipped and stolen by the Cats. Bello laying out to get the tip. Out to Gazelis down the right sideline into the baseline. Had his shot blocked and out of bounds. And it'll stay here with Montana State when we come back to the uh, first Interstate Bank broadcast position. Montana State down 20 to 12, 7.35 to go in the first half. This is Bobcat basketball from Learfield.
have a uh, final in the books in football. It is a rematch against Weber State. So Weber State wins it at home against North Dakota and uh, they win it 38 to 31. So we will see a rematch between Montana State and Weber State in the second round on Saturday. Last I saw slash heard was we're going at uh, 1 p.m. for a uh, noon airtime 1 p.m. kick between Montana State and Weber State. Catch with the basketball here on the hardwood. Robert Ford off a screen to the left elbow, kicks into the left corner. Patterson lets it fly and knocks it home. Tyler Patterson, a three from the left corner. His third three of the tournament. Just what the Cats needed coming out of that timeout after the slow start of the offensive end. Montana State down by just five. 20 to 15, 7.15 to go in the first half. Here's the drive by Belong, gets into the middle of the lane, runner, no. Rebound tipped out, the Cats win a 50-50 ball. Montana State into the front court. Back at our first interstate bank broadcast position. Patterson, left corner three. That one short, hit the rim twice, fell away. Bellow, extra effort, cannot grab the rebound. And Quinnipiac has it. Patterson was calling for the ball, though. Desi Jones behind the back dribble, gets blocked. Robert Ford puts it across the baseline for the big swat. Montana State, couple of blocks already today. And this time it was Robert Ford getting into the fray. Nicely done. We talked about Ford to Danny Sprinkle in the pregame show, and he wants him to play a little more aggressive, and we're seeing that today. Saw it yesterday as well. 6.47 to go in the first half. Montana State down 20-15. to Quinn Piak with the basketball. Shittery has it. Works his way over to the left wing. Bounce pass mid post left side. Back and down. Nowacki working on Asabor. Turns. Middle of the lane jumper. That is short. Falls off the rim to the right. Tipped out of bounds. And it's Montana State basketball. Montana State will have the ball down 20 to 15. They have trailed by as many as eight today. They've slowed down this Quinnipiac offense who has hit just one of their last seven. 6.32 to go in the first half. Montana State basketball moving from right to left. Darius Brown takes it out to the right wing. Gives to Robert Ford as the Cats work with two, uh, two point guards. Ford fires over the left wing. Brown's got it, still holding. Now works his way right into the lane. Bounce pass underneath, and Bellow flushes it home. What vision by Darius Brown in amongst the trees with a bounce pass to find Bellow. Jabril's got eight. Montana State to within three. Six minutes to go in the first half. The drive, Shinnery traveled, and the Cats are getting it back in a one-possession game. A resilient beginning to this ball game for Montana State. The shots were not falling at all, but it was a situation where a lot of those shots were good shots, and you just kind of got to stick with it. And Montana State down by just three, trailing 20 to 17. Overall, their defense has been good. They've held this outstanding three-point shooting team to just 29% from beyond the arc. Cats basketball. Here's Ford on the drive down to the right block. Hands off underneath for Bello. Gets it up and in. Oh, what a beautiful find this time by Ford. Stumbling and falling over the baseline. Getting that pass around a big man. And Jabril Bello able to finish. He's in the double figures in the first half. And the Cats back to within one. Oh, my. How about the point guard play by the Cats on the last couple of possessions? Timeout called by Quinnipiac, and we're going to keep it here. 540 to play in the first half. Montana State trailing 2019 with 540 to play in the first half. Rocky Mountain Credit Union supporting Bobcat wins for over 75 years and counting. By members' choice, this financial institution is not federally insured. Each account is insured up to $250,000. One of the big questions coming into the season for Montana State was how were they going to fill in at that point guard position? And boy, we have seen a couple of tremendous passes and finds by both Ford and Brown who are playing together right now. Remember, all assists are presented by Aware Mental Health Services. 5.40 remaining in the first half. Quinnipiac up 20 to 19 over Montana State. Quinnipiac with a basketball, working offensively to our right. Lobbed over to the left wing. Working down toward the left corner. Court right steps back, tries a left wing three. That's no good. Tip back, no. Rebound tipped up in the air over the backboard. And it will be Montana State basketball. 
So Cats with the ball. They'll work their way from right to left here with 5.23 to go in the first half. Trailing 20 to 19. Trailed by as many as eight. Into the front court, Ford's got it out on the right wing. Boy, he's looking better and better. Ben over the bounce at the top. Takes it over to the right wing, gives to Asabor, still beyond the arc, then to Patterson who curls around a screen. Thrown to Bello, still out high. Hand off to Brown, off a screen, triggers the three, bricked it. Missed it, left off the glass. Quinnipiac the rebound. Five minutes to go on the first. From the right wing, transition three, that's good. Matt Belong pouring it in from downtown, got lost a little in transition. He's got five points. A guy who shoots nearly 40% from downtown. Over to the right wing, Darius Brown. Works his way left. Bounce pass over the left wing. Skip pass over the right baseline. Patterson lost the handle on it, turns it over. Here comes Quinnipiac racing from left to right. Lewis into the lane, floats it up, no. Put back, no. Foul. And they're calling this on Montana State on that put back attempt. The foul will go on Robert Ford, his first. Montana State has not led in this game. They have not tied this game yet. 4.28 to play in the first half. Down 23 to 19, Quinnipiac at the line. This game is brought to you in part by the Montana State Fund, covering Montana's workers with workers' comp and safety know-how. Workplace safety, you're naked without it. More at safemt.com. First free throw from Ike Nowacki is good. That has been an Achilles heel for this Quinnipiac squad, despite the tremendous start. They're 59% from the free throw line this year. Next shot is up. That one's no good. Jabril Bello wins the rebound. Boy, Bello looking stronger and stronger. 10 points, six rebounds in the first half. Ford up at the top of the key. Throws back to Osibor on the right wing. Works into the middle of the lane, spins. Gets rid of it out to the left corner. Brown on the drive into the lane. Throws back out to the top. Ford's got the dribble, lines up a right wing three. That's no good, long rebound tracked down by Quinnipiac. Cats playing with a big lineup here with Osborne and Bello on the floor. Court right on the drive, bounce pass underneath. Nowacki slipped and traveled. Cats just kind of pulled the chair out from underneath him. He stumbles down, travels, and turns the ball over. Bobcat basketball when we come back to the first Interstate Bank broadcast position in Laval, Quebec. Four minutes remaining in the first half. Quinnipiac 24, Montana State 19. This is Bobcat basketball from Learfield. Four minutes remaining in the first half. Montana State is trailing 24-19. They have trailed by as many as eight today. They have not led in this game at any yeah. point. All right. All right, man. Nor have they tied in this game. Jabril Bello's been a beast. 10 points, six boards in 12 minutes of play. The man who was picked as the preseason favorite to be the MVP of the Big Sky Conference, and he's looked every bit of it today. Cats with a basketball. 
Brown wraps it around to four. Back to Brown. Montana State with it out beyond the arc. Looking for Bellow in the post. He gets pulled down, and that's a foul. Oh, they called an offensive foul. Are you kidding me? Wow. He was standing up, and Nowelki put his arm around Bellow's waist and pulled Bellow to the ground, and they gave Bellow the foul. I don't know what the exchange rate is on an offensive foul, but whatever it is, it's not that. Yikes. Man, he just got pulled to the ground and hit with a foul. Cut break. Joint Champs New Kids Club, presented by Billings Clinic Bozeman. Your $25 membership fee gets you game tickets, Bobcat gear, and more. Sign up today at msubobcats.com slash champs kids club. Quinnipiac with a basketball to our right. Nowacki throws up to the top. And now gives to court right. He tries a top side three. That shot is no good, and they called a foul. That's tough on Patrick McMahon. Really looked like Courtright kicked his legs out and then just went down. Taking a look at the replay here. McMahon was fighting through a screen. Ah, I didn't really get a good look on that replay. Two tough calls on Montana State here. Right as they're in the midst of a comeback attempt. And this will put Courtright at the line. First free throw is no good. Louis Courtright, a former all-rookie team in the Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference. Averaging 10.5 points per game this year. One of six players averaging eight or more per game. Second free throw is no good. We told you this Quinnipiac team struggles from the stripe. They are one of four today. Montana State two of four. Catcher one of 11 from beyond the arc today. Here's the free throw. That's no good. He missed all three. Rebound tip, and the Cats have it. Ford rushing the other way. One-on-one. -on -one. Go to the rack with the right-handed layup. Spins it off the glass and in. Oh, what a finish by Robert Ford going coast to coast for his first two points of the day. Beautifully done. Bounce pass into the lane for Quinnipiac. They've got it now on the left block. Nowecki working on Osibor, puts it on the floor, spins with his back to the basket, trying to step through and travel. Great Osibor building the wall down to the left block. He's fired up. Boy, you love that energy from Osibor. Look, the, obviously Quinnipiac shoots the heck out of the ball from downtown, but at the same time, both these teams have some tremendous front court talent. And right now, the Cats going with Osibor and Bello on the floor. Osibor two points. Bello the star today with 10 so far. 2.50 remaining in the first half. Cats down 24-21. Toss over to the left wing. Back up to the top. Back to the left wing forward. Looking for the post. Trying to find Osibor. Back to the right wing again. Brown has a screen with seven to shoot. Pulls up at the free throw line. That jumper swirls out. Bellow the offensive board. Pump bait back up. That is no good, but a foul. Bellow got the offensive rebound. And then with a pump bait, able to draw contact and will head to the stripe. Real Bellow looking as sprightly as we've seen him all year. He was banged up over the offseason, had a knee procedure done, so it took him a little while to get going. And man, he is starting to look like the star we all know he is now. First free throw is due. This shot is no good. Paul Otieno picked up that foul, his first. Fuller into the game. Osibor taking a seat. Good minutes from Great. And Bello, a little funk here at the line. This next shot is good. So he splits the pair. He's got 11 points today. And Montana State is to within two, as close as they've been throughout the day, trailing by as many as eight. 2.25 remaining in the first half. Montana State down 24-22. Quinnipiac with a basketball. Court right on the drive to the mid post, puts up a floater, kisses it off the window, and in. What a finish by Court right. He was way out there with a little runner. Took off well behind the paint, got it to go with a big hand in front of his face. Montana State with the ball, back down by four. Two minutes left in the first half. Ford out on the right wing for the Cats. He's got a screen to his left. Throws around to the left wing for Brown. Comes right around the screen, gets to the free throw line, kicks to the right corner. Patterson bounce pass into the post for Fuller. Back and down, spins in the lane, hooks it up and in. 
Caleb Fuller finishing it from the middle of the lane with a left-handed hook shot. Fuller has four points today. Cats down two. 96 seconds to go in the first half. Court right on the drive down to the left block. Cut off by Bello, nowhere to go. Takes it back out beyond the arc. Toss up to Williams, back to court right on the left wing. Driving on Bello, gets inside, pulls up, floater, short, and the Cats have the rebound. Fuller and Bello were there to deter. Cats have the ball. They work offensively to our left. Two to tie, three to take the lead for the first time today with just over a minute to go in the first half. Round over to Fuller at the top of the key. Round to the right wing for four. Picks up the dribble, looking for the post, doesn't have it. Out to Patterson, left wing three. That's no good. Rebound tipped out, and Quinnipiac has it. Good look for Patterson. Montana State down two. Quinnipiac with a basketball to our right. Jones down to the right wing. Bounce pass, take it away. Jabril Bello has the steal. They tried to bounce it in amongst the trees, and Jabril Bello able to take it away. Montana State with it. Fuller kicks to the left corner for Patterson. That pass too high and out of bounds. Turnover by Montana State. So they've had a couple of possessions here at the end of the first half with an opportunity to either tie or take the lead. And they have not gotten the big shot they've needed yet. 41 seconds to go in the first half. Winnipeg with the ball. They lead 26-24. 10 second differential between the shot and game clocks. Out of the left wing, Desi Jones has the dribble against four. Burning that clock down a little bit. Still with a bounce, 10 to shoot now. Jones working on four, seven to shoot. Starts the offense now with six, gets to the elbow with five, stops with the dribble, four, kicks out to the left wing, two, left wing threes in the air, no good, Cats have the rebound. Eight seconds left in the first half, out to the left wing, Brown, into the lane, go to the rack, floats it up, charge! Bucket didn't fall, takes the charge underneath, foul on Brown, his first. Take a look at the replay here, kind of slid in there just a little bit, he had the right foot set, but drew that left foot over. He was definitely out of the restricted area. 50-50 call, Cats don't catch a break. Four seconds left in the first half. Quinnipiac basketball, 26-24. Quinnipiac in front, they've led all day. All right, Quinnipiac will inbound. They'll have to go the length of the floor, but first the Cats will call timeout. Hey, know what's below? Tap, click, or call 811 before you dig. Brought to you by Montana, 811.org. Keaton Galungley with you from Place Bell Arena in Laval, Quebec. Montana State trying to bounce back after a tough loss yesterday. Fell by 11 against UNC Greensboro. Back in action again tomorrow against uh, Middle Tennessee. Middle Tennessee out of Conference USA has won a pair of bowl games so far in this tournament, so they're trying to go 3-0. Middle Tennessee is now 4-2. They got some big guys in the front court, and they're a team that has dominated the glass, out rebounding their opponents by nine, so that's tomorrow. Tip at 11.30 on the air at 11. Quinnipiac to inbound. They got to go the length of the floor with four seconds left in the first half, leading by two. Here comes the inbounds pass. Lewis is ready. Goes over to the right wing. Here's Jones, gets to the free throw line. Jump pass over the left wing, off the mark. Cats steal it. Here's a heave, that's good if it goes. No! Off the glass, no good. Kicked off the iron as well. And Tyler Patterson couldn't quite get it to go. Boy, that would have been a heck of a bucket, but no such luck. So that will take us to our halftime break. Montana State. Trailing at halftime despite a tough shooting half. They're down 26-24 against Quinnipiac. We will take a break. This is Bobcat basketball from Learfield.
don't need to tell me twice. Oh, carpal tunnel. Oh, God. <laughs> Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. There you go, man. No problem. You got it. Got it. Back at the first center state bank broadcast position. I'm Keaton Gologoli with you as the Cats trail at halftime down 26-24 against Quinnipiac. Boy, it's, uh, it's fun seeing the way basketball is received here in, uh, in Laval. We're just north of Montreal here in Quebec. They've got a, a, a halftime uh, shot contest. The first contestant was just throwing overhand, and now they're watching the next person who's taking, you know, an actual shot kind of from his from his chest, and they're just befuddled. Oh, that's how you can take that shot. It's fun watching the way this has been uh, kind of adopted and presented to this uh, Quebec community here as uh, Montana State, again, trails by two at halftime. Serving all your garage door needs, Door Tech is raising the door on quality. All right, let's take a number, take a look at the numbers from the first half of action for Montana State. They missed a lot of open shots in that first half. They shoot 31% from the field. They go only one of 13 from the three-point line and three of six from the free throw line. So tough, uh, tough lines there for the Cats. Figure that three-point shot will start to fall for Montana State here in the second half at some point. Meanwhile, Quinnipiac, 32% from the field, three of 10 from the three-point line, and one of five from the free throw line. Only one of five from that free throw line for Quinnipiac. Cats out rebounded 26 to 20. Montana State, seven assists on 10 field goals, all assists presented by AWARE Mental Health Services. Also the one three-point field goal is sponsored by Wendy's. Five turnovers for the Cats, four steals, two from Ford, one from Patterson, and one from Bello. For Quinnipiac, four assists on 11 field goals, seven turnovers, and one steal. Individually for Montana State, Jabril Bello, 11 points, yeah. seven rebounds on five of eight shooting. He looked really strong over his 16 minutes uh, of play, really working his tail off. He was moving as good as we've seen from him all season long. Four points from Caleb Fuller, three from Tyler Patterson, two from Raekwon Battle on one of four shooting. So he's hit just one field goal since the seven minute mark of the first half yesterday. Two points from Asabor, two from Robert Ford, who also had three assists, no turnovers, and two steals. Nice line from Robert Ford. Uh, Tyler Patterson at the three we mentioned. Lechelot, no points. Darius Brown, zero points on 0 of 2, shooting one assist and one turnover. Patrick McMahon, no points in the first half as well. For Quinnipiac, led by Desi Jones, six points. Matt Belunk, four points. Courtright, four. Riggins, four. And Nowecki, three in this ball game. So uh, that's how the offense kind of spreads out for Quinnipiac. No surprises there. That's kind of how they uh, they end up spreading their offense around a lot. They have, uh, they've got, what is it, uh, eight guys? Six guys, six guys who average eight or more points per ball game. They're still working on this half court shot competition and they've got a young man now who is using a single hand and kind of bowling it in the air. He's actually gotten closer than anybody else where he's just heaving it up in the air like he's bowling, but again, trying to shoot it up <laughs> into the air. And uh, nobody has hit their half court shot yet. But uh, this guy 
has been decently close down the stretch. At First Interstate Bank, it's about supporting our communities and cheering on our teams. Thank you for letting us be your trusted community bank for more than 50 years. First Interstate Bank, built for you, member FDIC. All timeouts called today are presented by Prime Lending. Prime Lending, home loans made simple. We'll take a break for the First Interstate Bank broadcast position. When we get back, we'll get you up to date on some other scores from around the big sky and beyond. We're at halftime, Montana State trailing at Quinnipiac 26-24. This is Bobcat basketball from Learfield. Back to first, inter uh, first Interstate Bank broadcast position, Montana State trailing at halftime 26-24. Interwest Moving and Storage is the official moving company of the MSU Bobcats. All right, before we go any further, let's pause 10 seconds for our network station identification. This is Bobcat Basketball. I'm Keaton Galugli, happy to be with you from Laval, Quebec at Place Bell Arena. Montana State is trailing 26-24 against uh, Quinnipiac at the moment. We'll take a break. When we get back, we'll get you up to date on some of the other scores from around the big sky and beyond. Cats again trailing 26-24 at halftime. This is Bobcat Basketball from Learfield.
Back at halftime from the first Interstate Bank broadcast position, courtside at Place Bell Arena in Laval, Quebec. Montana State trailing 26-24 against Quinnipiac at halftime. Quick check of the first Interstate Bank scoreboard. Idaho State loses to Bethune-Cookman 68-66. Sac State takes on Southern Utah later today, and Northern Colorado squares off with Jacksonville State. And on the football scoreboard, Weber State wins against North Dakota 38-31. That means we got a rematch on the gridiron. Montana State and Weber State coming up on Saturday at 1 o'clock. We'll be on the air for that one at noon. We'll take a break. Coming back after this timeout at halftime, Montana State trails 26-24 against Quinnipiac. This is Bobcat Basketball from Learfield. Back at the first Interstate Bank broadcast position. We are ready to begin the second half of play. Montana State trailing 26-24 against Quinnipiac. And Quinnipiac starts with the basketball. We're sitting at the first Interstate Bank broadcast position in Place Bell Arena in Laval, Quebec. So Quinnipiac to our left in their designated home white uniforms. Nowacki hands it off over on the right wing. Now on the drive, hand off underneath. Tieno, nowhere to go, kicks it out to the left wing, tipped by Brown, loose on the floor, Cats basketball and a push by Quinnipiac. Good defensive effort once again by Darius Brown. Matt Belonk picks up his first foul. Cats were led in that first half by Jabril Bello, who had 11 points and six rebounds. He's got one double-double so far this year. Montana State basketball, their first possession of the second half. Brown out to the right wing. Lobs up toward the free throw line. Bello has it with the dribble. Looking for battle, he's got it. Battle, turn to the corner, going to the rack, stops to the right block, pump fake, floater, short. Missed it, rebound, Quinnipiac. That battle's got a little bit of a lid on the bucket right now. He'll come off sooner rather than later, no doubt about it, with a guy like that who's as talented as he is. Here's the drive by Jones, picks it, picks it up at the free throw line, and floats home a jumper, that is good. Eight points for Desi Jones, who averages eight and a half a game. Montana State coming the other way. Raekwon battle with it out on the right wing. Up to the top, Brown. Works his way left around the screen, going to the cup, floats it inside, no. Cats able to get it back, and a push by Quinnipiac. Looked like that was an alley-oop attempt from Brown to Bello. I don't know that Bello totally saw it, but it ended up bouncing and landing in the lap of Lekalot, who got bumped and drew the foul against Ike Nowecki, who picks up his second foul. Montana State ready to inbound. Ray Raekwon Battle hauls it in. 
Now to Brown on the right wing. Looking to get rid of it. Now backs it out, resets the offense. Brown behind the back dribble to get some space. Give it to Bellow, still out high. Eight to shoot, back to Brown. Six to shoot. Brown to the left elbow. Pulls up long two. Got it. Darius Brown pouring it in. First bucket for Darius Brown today. Montana State down 28-26. 18 minutes, 20 seconds to go in the first half. Into the right corner. Belong lobs out to the right wing. Tiano hands it off. Shinnery comes off a screen, gets to the free throw line and backs it out. Up to Jones at the top to reset and try again. Another play call for Quinnipiac. Jones driving in, pulls up, floater in the middle of the lane. No good. Darius Brown, the defense, and the rebound. Brown across the timeline. Oh, you can see these point guards starting to find their rhythm a little bit. Brown to the elbow, the jumper. That's no good. Chasing his own rebound. No luck. Nowecki has the board. Here comes Quinnipiac. They have numbers. Bellow a little slow to get up. Down into the lane. Layup is good by Nowecki. Five points for Nowecki. 17 minutes, 45 seconds to go in the second half. Bellow doesn't look right after going down, chasing that rebound. Brown out on the right wing. Give it up to Bellow at the top. Going to battle off a of screen. Drives from the left wing. Pulls up for 15 out. The jumper, air ball, too strong. And Quinnipiac has the rebound, leading 30 to 26. Out of the right wing. Quinnipiac has the basketball. On the drive, going to the rack. That shot got tipped, but fell in. Desi Jones, a high arcing floater. Bello got a fingernail on it, but not enough to knock it free. 32 26, Quinnipiac in front. Three minutes burned in the second half. We're at the 17 minute mark now. Into the post, right side, like a lot. The fires into the middle of the lane for Bello. Back and down, draws a double, turns, hooks, that's no good, but drew the foul. Boy, he got hammered. Just what the doctor ordered. So Bello draws the foul, he'll get free throws, and then he'll get a rest with Great Osibor ready to check in. Now Tieno picking up his second foul. At Montana's Rib and Chop House, our staff is dedicated to creating extraordinary experiences that raise the bar in each of our communities. Enjoy premium steaks, fresh seafood, and award-winning baby back ribs. We look forward to sharing a little Rocky Mountain hospitality with you. First free throw. No good from Bello. Boy, he has struggled in that regard at the stripe in this uh, tournament. Now one of three today. Bello will try it again. The shot is up. That one is good. A dozen for Bello today. He'll head to the bench, move a little slow. He's been grinding today. He's worked hard. And great Osibor will go to work for the Cats in the front court. Montana State down 32-27, 16-47 to go in the ball game. Quinnipiac has it to our left. Nowecki hands it off out of the right wing, then given up to the top. Running their play, Jones comes right around the screen, picks up the bounce, throws to Shinnery on the left wing. Gets down in the left block against Patterson. He goes down, no call. Shinnery hands off underneath. Nowecki got blocked from behind by Lekalot. Loose ball, and it is out of bounds. Catch basketball. Patterson, good defense. Could have been a charge, could have been the offensive foul. Lekalot helped clean it up with a block from behind. And Montana State has the basketball. 16 minutes, 25 seconds to go in the contest. Montana State down, 32-27. They haven't led all day. Ford spins to the backcourt, trying to get away from a couple of defenders. Now takes it up to the top, works his way down to the right elbow, gets into the mid post, stops, kicks out to the left wing, Lekalot. He's into the post now for Osibor, goes up, reverse layup, spins it in off the window. Little English from the Englishman. Great Osibor able to put it in off the glass. Four points from Osibor. On the drive now the other way, Jones cut off by four. Out to Nowecki. He's got the dribble down to the left baseline. Working inside, backing down on Lekalot. Spins, righty hook, that shot short. Rebound tipped. It's loose, it's out of bounds. Montana State basketball. Good defense by Sam Lekalot. That'll take us to a timeout. Montana State has gotten close, but they have not gotten it over the hump. They have trailed all night, down 32-29, 15-47 to go in the contest. Back after this to the first interstate bank broadcast position. This is Bobcat Basketball from Learfield.
Montana State trailing 32-29 against Quinnipiac. Uh, hello to uh, Duck Taylor tuned in today. Nate also listening in. John O'Connor is our man back in the studios. My name is Keaton Gilogly. A pleasure to be with you today from Laval, Quebec, Montana State. Again, having a gritty day today. Shots are not falling. They're one of three from beyond the arc. They're four of eight from the three-point line. But the Cats have just found a way to hang around down by three. And they've done it with a lot of hustle and a lot of effort today. Been out-rebounded by six. They forced eight turnovers and have five steals. Montana State to inbound. Raekwon Battle Hall's in a contested pass. He takes it to the free throw line. Bounce pass underneath. Asamore goes up, lays it no, but draws the foul. Boy, good break that time by the Cats. Uh, Quinnipiac had a, a tough little press design there. And a nice job by Montana State to get that ball inbounded. Bobcat basketball is brought to you in part by Kendall Ford Lincoln of Bozeman, a proud sponsor of Montana State Athletics. From your seat at the game to your driver's seat, enjoy every minute. When you're ready for something new, get started at KendallFordBozeman.com. Kendall, let's start something great. First free throw is no good. What is going on? The stripe for the Cats. Four of nine today. Boy, that number at the free throw line dropping precipitously the last two games. Next shot in and out. Asabor missed them both. Cats are in some close games, and you can't miss free throws in close games. Montana State is 4 of 10 from the free throw line today. Quinnipiac with the ball, up 3, 15 minutes, 29 seconds to go in the contest. Belong, top side, 3 ball, got it. 8 points from Belong, a 40% three-point shooter from downtown. Montana State's really done a nice job defending the arc, which is one of the great strengths of Quinnipiac this year and really every year under sixth year head coach Baker Dunleavy. Five minutes gone to the second half. Montana State ball, four to the drive, got stripped, three covers, gives to Asabor, spins, kicks it out. Top side three. That is no good from Fuller. Foul on the floor. Going the other way. Raekwon Battle picking up his third when he got his arm hooked. Tough break for Battle. It's been a frustrating trip north of the border for Raekwon Battle. Patrick McMahon in. He'll be all right, he'll get it. Montana State is one of 14 from downtown and they are not forcing it. They're taking good shots. We'll of course ask Danny Sprinkle about that after the ball game. What a Piak basketball to our left. Wacky up at the top, give it a court right on the left wing. With the lefty drive, gets underneath, tries the layup, that's off the glass, no good. Fight for the rebound and the Cats come away with a great Asabor has it. Here comes Montana State from left to right. Robert Ford crosses over, gets to the top, comes back right to the elbow, throws up to Asabor, thought about a free throw line jumper, turned it down. Hand off to Patterson. Out to the right wing, McMahon. Steps up to the free throw line, pulls up with a jumper, that jumper is no good, tried to get his own rebound, cannot, and Quinnipiac has it, another stop for Quinnipiac. Lewis takes it to the right wing, kicks into the right corner, here's a three, Belong can't get it to go, offensive rebound by Nowecki. And he's got the dribble, backing down on Asabor on the left block. Into the lane, spins right shoulder, turns, hooks, no. Patrick McMahon high points the rebound. Here comes Montana State, down 35-29. Out to Tyler Patterson to the right corner, then to Fuller. Thought about a three, turned it down. Around to the left wing, Ford. Out to the right wing, Fuller. Wide open three, that's no good. And the rebound grabbed by Quinnipiac. Catch one of 15 from downtown. Quinnipiac, wide open right wing three, that's no good. Fight for the rebound, and Asabor wins it. Ooh, that was a tough fist fight for the loose ball. Here's Montana State, McMahon, bounce into the post on the right block for Fuller. Kicked out to the left wing, into the post, Asabor makes the catch and lays it in. Beautiful extra pass, great Asabor with two points. He's got six, Montana State down. 35-31, they've trailed by as many as eight. They've been hovering in that window all day. They have not led, they have not, uh, they have not led, they have not tied this game today. Bounce pass into the post, right-handed layup is good. Belonk able to finish, showing it from downtown and from the inside. 10 points from their all-conference star, Matt Belonk. 13 minutes to go in the ball game. Montana State back down by six. Asabor out of the right elbow, holding the ball above his head. His pass is tipped and stolen. Belonk the other way to the rack. Two hand jam. Timeout called by Montana State. All timeouts presented by Prime Lending. Home loans 
made simple. So timeout by the Cats. They're down by eight, matching their largest deficit of the day. We'll take a break as well. 12 minutes, 48 seconds to go in the contest. Montana State trailing 39-31. This is Bobcat basketball from Learfield. Back to first Interstate Bank broadcast position. Montana State is trailing 39 to 31. The Bobcats need your support to go for the win. Donate to the Bobcat Club's three to win campaign to help us reach our $3 million goal supporting student athletes. Bobcat basketball is also presented in part by your locally owned and operated McDonald's of Montana. Download the McDonald's app for three large fries every men's cats basketball game day. Montana State down eight. Largest deficit they have faced today. They have not tied the game. They have not led in this game. Jabriel Bellows back out there with a dozen points. Raekwon battled just two on one of six shooting today. And Montana State with just one Wendy's three. They're one of 15 from the three point line. Montana State inbounds, facing a little full court press. They're able to get it in. Now Brown uses some speed and draws a hand check foul on Shittery, his first. That is the fifth team foul already on Quinnipiac in the second half. It's a good sign for Montana State if they can hit their free throws down the stretch. For now, though, they need to hit some threes. They need to keep knocking down some shots, shooting just 32% from the field. Fuller out of the left wing. Give it up to Brown at the top. Comes around a screen to the right wing. Crosses over, gets down to the right baseline, kicks out to the top. Extra pass Patterson, left wing three. No, Bellow the board got hammered and draws the foul. Got ball, but then came down and hit him in the shoulder or face. Shinnery picks up his second foul. Another big rebound for Bellow. Patterson comes up short on the three. Keep shooting if you're Patterson. One of six, um, but that, that's his shot. That's a great look. If you're Tyler Patterson, you gotta just keep shooting. Inbound into Patterson with a catch down, 39-31. Pass down into the baseline, and that is stolen. Picked off by Louis Courtright. Courtright out to left wing as Quinnipiac sets it up offensively. Gets down into the lane, down to the right block. Reverses direction, kicks the top, a three. That is in and out and back in again by Tyrese Williams. First double digit lead for Quinnipiac, trying to go to 7-0, their best start in 50 years. 12 minutes remaining in the ball game. Timeout coming in a moment. Montana State down 42-31. Brown on the drive, kicks to the right baseline. McMahon on the drive, gets to the rack, lays it up. Good and one. Well, at least a three point opportunity now for Montana State. McMahon gets his first two points and we take a break. Jed Miller's gonna check into this game. Let's see if he can find a little splash from beyond the arc. 42-33, Montana State trailing against Quinnipiac with 11.45 to go in the ball game. 
We're from the live from the First Interstate Bank broadcast position. This is Bobcat basketball from Learfield. Against uh, Quinnipiac, Cats just have not been able to get it going on the offensive end today. They have struggled in a big way from the three-point line. One of 16 from beyond the arc. Real Milk is a nutrient-rich product. It contains 13 essential nutrients from vitamin A to zinc, all of which are important for a healthy immune system and overall wellness. That's 13 nutrients with seemingly endless benefits. Reach for milk and make every sip count. Jed Miller getting into the ball game for the Cats. Let's see if maybe he can find a little something from beyond the arc. Patrick McMahon is at the line trying to complete a three-point play. He cannot. Cats miss another free throw. They're four of 11 from the free throw line today. Winnipeg with a basketball. Hand it off out of the right wing, up to the top, and then give it a court right at the top of the key. He's on the drive going to the cup, finger roll. No, got blocked. Jabril Bello got a hand on it. What a game for Bello today. Montana State down 42-33 with the ball. Brown has it up at the top. Standing on the small logo near half court. Over to Miller in the right wing. Comes around a screen, gets the top, triggers the three. That's off the front iron, no good. And Quinnipiac has the rebound. One of 17 from the three-point line for Montana State. Up to the top, over to the right wing. On the drive, bounce pass underneath, down to the right block. Nowacki puts it up and in. Excuse me, Otieno rather. Otieno puts it home. Back to an 11-point game. Winnipeg on top. They've led all day. Brown has the dribble. Throws to Fuller on the left wing. Over to Miller on the right wing. Back to Fuller. Into the left corner, McMahon. Works his way to the left elbow. Over to Miller. Into the right corner. Ten to shoot. Brown into the lane. Pulls up. Jumper. Offensive foul. On Darius Brown, the shot went. They call the foul. Love to have another look at that one. Did he extend his arm? Brown still kind of confused after picking up his second. I'd love to see that replay. Not going to get it. Winnipeg heating up. They've hit four of their last five shots. Winnipeg with a basketball to our left. Along, around the court, right on the left wing. Comes right to the top, pulls up, his three ball. No good, heel of the iron. Jed Miller grabs the rebound. Here comes Montana State with 10 minutes and 19 seconds to go in the game. Miller out to Brown. Lob into the post for Fuller. That pass tipped and stolen. A turnover by Montana State. This game starting to unravel a bit for the Cats. Down 44-33. Midway point of the second half. Courtright drives and draws a foul before the shot. Patrick McMahon, a hand check. His third. Third team foul on Montana State. McMahon and Brown to the bench. Battle and Ford into the game. See if Raekwon Battle can get himself going here. 
10 minutes, one second to go in the contest. Inbounds pass caught, Otiano going to the cup, it rolls it in. Bello bailed out trying to uh, tip that inbounds pass. Montana State has the inbounds pass now. And the Cats take it into the front court with 9.45 remaining in the ball game, down 46-33, facing their largest deficit of the day. Fuller down to the right block, has to back it out. Here's Brown on the drive into the lane, hop stop, kicks out, didn't know where to go with it, and it's stolen another turnover by Montana State. Some indecision cost the Cats. Into the lane, Lewis to the cup, blocked and fouled from behind. That one goes on Jed Miller, his first. Montana parents know parenting isn't easy. ParentingMontana.org provides you with a way to build the skills your child needs to be successful. ParentingMontana.org, tools for your tools for your child's success. Montana State outscored by 11 in the second half. First free throw. That's good. Savian Lewis with his first point. Former New York Mr. Basketball in 2018 when he averaged 34 points a game in high school. Next shot is good. His second point of the day. And Montana's largest deficit is growing, trailing 48-33. 9.25 to go in the game, and Ford able to draw a foul on Lewis, his second. That'll get Montana State to the line. Eighth team foul on Quinnipiac, which is on a 6-0 run. So Montana State struggled in that first half, and it started really right from the beginning. They just struggled shot after shot. They were getting the shots they needed, but they just weren't falling. And you figure, well, they're going to start falling eventually. you got to just kind of stick with it. And even with all of that drought in the first half, they were only down by two at halftime. But now here in the second half, the three-point lid is still on the bucket. They're 0-4 in the second half. Front end of a 1-1 one and one from Ford, and that's good. And now a couple of turnovers here in the second half, and that has helped open up this lead. So we'll see. Raekwon battle quiet today. Two points on one of six shooting. Jabril Bellows played well. He's been a bright spot. But a couple of late turnovers, and one of 17 from the three-point line, 6%. This next shot is up and good. Ford hits them both. Nice to see two free throws hit in the same trip to the line. Four points for Robert Ford. 9.20 remaining in the ball game. Montana State down 48-35. When a PX going to burn a little clock here, tossing it back and forth along the half court line. Belonk tries an NBA three. That's no good. Fight for the rebound. Tipped out of bounds. Last touch by Bello. When a PX will inbound from underneath their own basket. 9.05 to re remaining in the ball game. Lob out to the left elbow. Otieno hands it off. Williams gets to the elbow, coming around the screen, tries a jumper, no good. Long rebound, and Quinnipiac has it again. Out to the right elbow, Belong, his jumper, that's no good. Funny bounce, and Montana State has the rebound. Montana State getting a bit beat up on the glass here in the second half. Ford lines up a left wing three. That's short, one of 18 from the three-point line today. That one was wide open and looked in rhythm. And now an errant buzzer. I don't think they reset the shot clock maybe after that uh, that shot. So shot clock dis discrepancy. And they're going to send each team to the bench here as they work out what should be on the shot clock after that errant buzzer. Montana State trailing 48-35, 8.39 to go in the ball game. Simpkins Holland believes in building the Gallatin Valley's future while continuing to honor its past for all your building needs. Go to where long-standing traditions have been met with quality building products for over 75 years. Simpkins Holland, a Montana tradition among builders since 1946. Montana State, again, just not doing enough on the offensive side of the ball. They've got good talent. They've got guys that can score. Bellow has 12 points and eight rebounds today. But Raekwon Battle, only two points tonight. Four from Folder, six from Osibor. He's three for three. Ford has four points today. Tyler Patterson, one of six from three. Took five seconds off that shot clock, which had not been reset 
after the last uh, missed shot by Montana State. When a PAC basketball, they'll inbound from the left sidelines. Williams tosses it in out to the top for Desi Jones. Going over to Matt Belonk on the right wing, deep behind the perimeter. Tries a jump pass over to Jones, still out near the half court line, trying to burn some clock. Over to Williams, fires a left wing three. That's no good. Rebound grabbed by Raekwon Battle. Montana State down, 48-35. 8.20 to go in the game. Miller has it on the right wing. Looking for Bellow in the post. Didn't have it. Out to the top for four. Out to the elbow for Asabor. Hands off for Battle. Coming around a screen. Gets the free throw line. Kicks out to Miller. Catch and shoot right wing three. Yes! Sweet relief. Montana State starting one of 18 from three. Jed Miller finally finding it from downtown. Montana State back to within 10. 7.50 remaining in the game. Here's a right wing three the other way. That's good. Big response by Desi Jones, who's having a big ball game today. Give him 13. Montana State trailing 51-38. 7.35 to go in the contest. Four at the top. Crossover dribble to the elbow. Turns the corner, going to the rack. Floats it up. No, off the window. And Quinnipiac has the rebound. They're rushing the other way. Jones kicks out to the right wing. Williams wide open three. No, rebound tipped, and one by Quinnipiac. That tipped all the way out to the top of the key, and Quinnipiac gets the rebound. They'll wind that clock a bit. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Jones to the elbow, stops left of the lane. His pass is intercepted by Miller. Ahead to Ford, ahead to Miller again, down underneath. Battle, jams it in with two hands through mad contact. Could have been an and one. Maybe that's the bucket that gets things going for the Cats in the fast break. Montana State down 51 to 40. Seven minutes to go in the ball game. Do the Cats have a comeback in them? On the left wing. Belong, step back two. Got it, nothing but the bottom of the net. Oh, what a finish by Belong. And now we've got a whistle. Need to map up some of the moisture on the floor after Belong went down. 6.41 to go in the ball game. Montana State trailing 53 to 40. We'll take a break from the first Interstate Bank broadcast position. Once more time, Montana State down 53 to 40 against Quinnipiac with 6.41 to go in the contest. And we have a prime lending timeout. Prime lending, home loans made simple. Back after this, this is Bobcat basketball from Learfield. Not only is dairy delicious, but it also promotes health as well. Just three servings of dairy a day improves overall wellness and may reduce the risk of developing some chronic diseases. It's a quick, convenient, and economic way to make sure you are staying strong and healthy on and off the field. What a brutal shooting day for Montana State. Beyond the arc, we're sitting at the First Interstate Bank broadcast position. Cats down 53 to 40 with 6.41 to go in the ball game. Robert Ford 0 of 3 from 3. Raekwon Battle 0 of 1. 
Caleb Fuller, 0 of 3. Nick Gazalis, 0 of 2. Darius Brown, 0 of 1. Tyler Patterson, 1 of 6. Sam Lekalot, 0 of 1. And uh, Jed Miller, 1 of 2 from beyond the arc today. Just surprising. Uh, there's so much talent, particularly on the offensive end in some ways for the Cats, and they just have not had it. They've had some bad luck back there. They're taking good shots. They're not forcing it. And Montana State is down by 13 with 6 minutes and 36 seconds to go in the game. Miller up at the top of the key, getting a look. Takes it to the elbow, throws back out to Bello. Handoff again to Miller. Throws over to Brown. Fires into the mid post for Asabor. Back to the basket. Back and down. In the post on the left block. And had a tip three and out of bounds. And it'll stay with Montana State. Ten seconds to shoot for Montana State, who will inbound here. Montana State outscored by 11 in the second half. Only 16 points for the Cats in this second half. Really, they've done enough kind of defensively around that three-point line in a lot of ways. Brown into battle to the cup. Two-hand jam off the inbound pass. Raekwon battle now. Four points in the second half. Six total. Not done yet. Down by 11. Six minutes, 10 seconds to go in the second half. Lewis out at the top with the dribble, turns the corner, gets inside, hesitation in the air, and finishes with the right hand. Ooh, that was shifty from Savion Lewis. Montana State with the ball. Asabor, hands off for battle off a screen, gets to the elbow, going to the rack, had a tip from behind, out of bounds. Oh, they called a foul. Cats catch break, maybe. Maybe he did get hit, hard to see. So foul on Savion Lewis, his third. And that'll get the Cats to the line. Ninth team foul on Quinnipiac. Town Pump is a proud sponsor of the Brawl of the Wild rivalry series between Montana State University and the University of Montana. It's all sports all season long. Look for special Brawl of the Wild promotions at your local Town Pump. Free throw for battle. Front end of the one and one falls in. All right, Raekwon battle starting to find a little something here. Is it too little too late? We will find out. 5.49 left in the game. That clock turning into a mortal enemy here for Montana State. Second free throw is good. All of a sudden, eight points for Raekwon Battle. Slipped into second place in the scoring race around the big sky. Big game from Isaac Jones for Idaho last night. Poured in 32 points without a three-point field goal and a win against Pacific over in California last night. Quinnipiac with the ball. They lead by 11. Hand off up the top, Belonk on the drive, gets down to the right block, swatted! Big time hammer by Raekwon Battle, taking out the first row of seats down underneath the baseline. Boy, you can hear the slap of the basketball, and Raekwon Battle starting to play angry now, you love to see it. 5.37 remaining in the game. Lob up to the top, tipped, Brown in a foot race for the ball, got shoved down, no call, picked up by Quinnipiac. Court right on the drive, kicked out to the right corner. Cats close out and deter a three. Jones works his way along the right baseline and an offensive foul. Darius Brown goes down, takes the charge. Darius Jones, the foul. Beautifully done. Look, I, I know this has been a grindy day for the Cats on the offensive end, but the hustle, the effort, the energy is there. They haven't quit. This is how you hang around, down 11. 5.26 to go. Is there enough time for Montana State? Inbound to Jed Miller. He hands it off on the left side over to Brown. He's working to the backcourt against Lewis. Drives along the left sideline and gets himself across the timeline. Comes right around the screen to the top of the key. Over the right wing, Jed Miller for three. Bring it up. Jed Miller pouring it home. Miller's second three of the day off the bench. Montana State's got it back to single digits. Down by eight with five minutes to go in the game. And off up the top, Lewis has it for Quinnipiac to our left. Drives to the mid post, stops, floater, short, Bellow has it, got undercut, and then had it taken away. Out to the right wing, Quinnipiac has it. Crossing over, driving down to the right baseline. Courtright throws it up to the top, six to shoot. Lewis back to Courtright, four. Courtright with three, whistle, and a foul on Brown. They called a hand check with three seconds on the shot clock. Oh, what a tough call. Couldn't see it, we were a bit screened. And they're not showing it on the replay here, they're showing the Miller three. Man, that's a big call. Couldn't see it, he's a smart player, he knows not to hand check. Tough break, resets the shot clock to 20. 
court right to the right elbow. Bounce pass off the mark. Osibor dives down on the hardwood, saves it, but he slipped and just caught the sideline. Great, great work and effort by great Osibor. Laid out for that ball and tried to toss it forward. And they said he had it and then just touched that sideline. Terrific work, man. Now we've got a whistle. What do we got here? They're going to send him to the benches. They're going to take a look at something here. Are they going to look at this possession? Or maybe the shot clock rally? Yeah, they're going to probably, I think they're looking at the shot clock. See, every pulse pounding, buzzer beating play in astounding detail with a patient experience that's second to none. Experienced doctors and advanced technology, Vance Thompson Vision, the official LASIK cataract surgeon of the Bobcat, is your home for laser vision correction. Learn more at advancedthompsonvision.com. We've got a doubleheader of basketball tomorrow on uh, Bobcat uh, Radio Network. We will tip off at 11.30 a.m. tomorrow on the air at 11. Cat taking on Middle Tennessee. And then the women will go to work against North Texas. That game will be on the air at 145, tipping at 130 with Daniel Sally on the call. All right, so they put 14 seconds on the shot clock after that contested loose ball. Love seeing your big man get down the way great Osibor did chasing that loose ball. He had it, but his momentum carried him just over the sideline. Jed Miller getting some crunch time minutes here. The Cats down 55-47, 4.35 to go in the game. Hand off up to Court right at the top. 10 to shoot to the elbow, working on Brown, who's just a beast defensively right now. Court right up to the top, still with no space. Five to shoot, step back, contested three, got it. Oh, what a shot. Court right pouring it in. High arcing, rain making, three point shot. Montana State down 58 47. Four minutes, 15 seconds to go in the game. Brown to Asabor, bounce pass into the post, Bellow. Back to the basket, on the right block. Bouncing down, spins, righty hook, got it up and in through contact again. Got his arm hit, didn't matter. First field goal of the second half. Jabril Bello now up to 14 points on the evening. Montana State down, 58-49, 3.53 to go in the game. Tough shooting day for the Cats, but they've stuck around. Court right up the top, comes left around the screen to the elbow, gets into the mid post, spins with his back to the basket. Leans in, kisses it off the window and in. Another dynamic finish by Louis Courtright. He's got nine. 3.30 remaining in the game. Montana State down 60 to 49. Brown on the left wing. Lob into the post, left block. Jabril Bello back to the basket with the dribble. Back it down on Otiano. Still back it down. Into the middle of the lane. Little help defense. Had a tip free. Cats recover. Brown over to Miller on the right wing. Works his way to the elbow, comes back out, eight to shoot, triggers a three, short. Off the uh, front side of the net. And it'll be Quinnipiac basketball when we come back to the first Interstate Bank broadcast position. 3.07 remaining in the game, Montana State down 60 to 49 against Quinnipiac. This is Bobcat basketball from Learfield.
Montana State is trailing 60 to 49 with three minutes and seven seconds to go in the ball game. Big story of this one, Montana State three of 21 from the three point line. Jed Miller has two of those three. All three point field goals presented by Wendy's. 14 assists for the Cats, all assists presented by Aware Mental Health Services. We're at the first Interstate Bank broadcast position. Inbound pass for Quinnipiac, having to go the length of the floor, facing a little pressure. Miller tried to take it away, no call. He tried to foul, out to Belanc in the left corner. His three is good. Miller was trying to foul. He grabbed the man in the backcourt. Even, uh, even Jed Miller just told the official, we are trying to foul. So Montana State down 63-40. I don't know how they didn't call a foul on Miller. Brown tries a topside three. That's in and out. Rebound grab by Quinnipiac with 2.40 to go in the ball game. And now a foul in the backcourt by Caleb Fuller. So now they will force Quinnipiac to hit their free throws here. But first, Montana State needs one more foul to get them to the line. That was the sixth team foul. So they will inbound in the backcourt. Quinnipiac gets it in deep in the backcourt. Caught, and Savion Lewis guarded tightly by Brown, and then they call the foul on Brown when he wanted it. Darius Brown picks up his fourth. That'll now send Quinnipiac to the line. This is a team that shoots 59% from the free throw line. So they have struggled in a big way. Savion Lewis has been one of the good ones, though. 81%, 13 of 16. First free throw on the way. And that is no good. He did miss the front end. Cats have the rebound. Montana State from left to right, down by 14. Miller to the top, lines up a three. That's short off the front iron. And Quinnipiac has the rebound. And then Brown fouls him, and Brown is done. That's his fifth. The Bozeman Come On In Hotel and Suites is a proud sponsor of MSU Athletics and the Montana State Alumni Association. The Come On In allows you to escape the ordinary while enjoying their numerous hotel and guest room amenities. Visit comeonin.com to book your stay today. All right, front end of a one and one here for Quinnipiac. And they got it to go. Lewis able to put it in. See another one here. Lewis spins the ball in his hands. Now lets it fly and knocks them both down. Montana State shoot 35% from the field, 13% from three, 53% from the free throw line. They've been out rebounded 45-33. Ford hands off to Miller on the right wing, up to Battle at the top of the key. Battle's got eight today. Lines up a right wing three. That shot is off the mark. Rebound tipped, loose, Fuller able to save it. No, tried to save it across the baseline against a Quinnipiac player, could not. Cats will try to tip it away in the backcourt and they do commit the foul. Court right will go to the line, Fuller is tagged with the foul. Two minutes, two seconds to go in the game. Montana State down 65-49, in danger of losing their second straight with a very tough Middle Tennessee team coming up next. Patrick McMahon will come back in for Montana State. Bellow leading the way with 14 points, nine rebounds in 29 minutes. He worked his tail off today, six of nine from the field. First free throw on the front end is good. Quinnipiac hitting some shots at the free throw line. Six points from Osibor over 20 minutes on three rebounds today. Jed Miller, six, uh, six points today. Eight from Raekwon Battle on three of nine shooting. Next free throw is good. Courtright puts them both in. He's got 13 points today. Montana State down 67-49. 155 remaining, into the right corner for Miller. Turns the corner, drives in, kicks back out. Ford drives the right baseline, gets past a man, floats it up off the glass, no, but draws the foul. Foul is on Otieno. And Robert Ford will go to the line. Coming up again tomorrow on the air at 11, 11.30 a.m. tip-off. Middle Tennessee winning earlier 
today in their second game. First free throw for Ford is good. Middle Tennessee won 75-63 against Stephen F. Austin today. They had that game pretty handily, had an 18-point lead midway through that second half. Next shot by Ford is up and good. Robert Ford, six points today, knocking down both free throws. 148 remaining the game, Montana State down 67-51. Inbounds pass coming, Belonk has it, and the Cats not trying to foul here, they were earlier. Montana State beat on the glass today, 46-33. 14 assists on 19 field goals with 11 turnovers. Aware Mental Health Services sponsors all assists. Burn the clock down, 10 to shoot. Belong to the left wing, eight to shoot. Fires into the middle of the lane. Otiano up and blocked. Great, Osibor turned it away. Ford has the loose ball. Lobs ahead to Miller in the left corner. Takes it back out to the left wing. Crosses over into the left corner. Bounce pass to Osibor, up to the top, Ford. Ford takes it to the elbow, spins at the free throw line, turns, the jumper is up and good. Robert Ford, he's got eight points. 67-53, one minute remaining in the ball game. Up at the top, taken to the left wing, court right, nearly had it taken away by Ford. Court right into the lane, weaves back out as they try to milk this clock down. Middle Tennessee next on tap. Cats will try to avoid their first losing streak of the year tomorrow. Three point shot didn't fall, went three of 24 from the three point line. Three seconds to shoot, Jones step back three, yeah. There it is, that's the cherry on top. Cats will go down today, trailing 70 to 53. Quinnipiac going to a 7-0 start, their first and best start in 52 years. Right wing three is up from Ford. That's no good. Rebound by Quinnipiac, and this single dribble out. Montana State will fall 70 to 53. They shoot just 35% from the field, 12% from the three-point line, 59% from the charity stripe. Quinnipiac 40% from the field. 41% from downtown, 9 of 22. They got to their per game average of nine threes a game, seven of 12 from the free throw line. Tough game for the Cats. Man, they just had a lid on the bucket today for whatever reason. And there's the final buzzer. Montana State loses today, 70 to 53 against Quinnipiac. Bobcats to three and four, Quinnipiac to seven and zero. We'll take a break. Raven Chop House post game show coming up after this timeout. This is Bobcat basketball from Learfield. <laughs> 